Thank you for tuning in to the Miss Blue Radio Show, aka Radio's Badass. I got Goodfellow in the building tonight and his manager, Moyo, okay? So I'm going to be interviewing these guys and talking about their music. And I'm also playing a song that you'll be able to stream on Spotify, but we won't get into that just yet. I just want to start off my night because I have to ask this, how you doing? Oh, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm good. <laughs> yes. Was it cool out yeah. there a yeah, little bit? Yeah, it feel good. Because it was yeah. very hot in the daytime. Yeah. I'm ready for it to get cold, y'all, like where my nose is freezing. Yeah. I keep saying that. That's, yeah, that's the, that's the weather right there. Yes. So um, we got acquainted with each other on Instagram. Right. Um, you have um, a project out right now, right. correct? Yeah. And I would like to, you know, discuss that, how it yeah. came about, you know, what, what your fans can expect on this and, okay. you know, the title of it. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, the first project is Lionheart. That's out on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, wherever you go get music, mm -hmm. that you can get that though. But yeah, that's that's my first project, and it was that's my baby. I put I put it like that. That's my baby. Is that an EP or is that just a single? Lionheart. Yeah. Nah, that's it's a mixtape. Oh. It got over twelve songs. Twelve songs on there. Okay, yeah. dope. Now, what's <laughs> give me two of your favorite ones on that, on the mixtape. Brothers Keeper, that that's like hands down my favorite. Okay. That's about my brother. Like that's that. You know what I'm saying? All my songs mean something to me, but that one in particular, it really means something to me. Uh, and outside of that, second, I would say it, it would either be H Town mm -hmm. or Hate Me. Either, either one of those. It's, it's, a, it's a, you know what I'm saying? It's a tie between, between those two. All but right. I like both of them. It's H Town like one of them feels like yeah. introducing to you about the yeah. city, like slab it's, type of songs. Okay, yeah. I like, it, I like shit like that. that. <laughs> yeah. uh, rest in peace to my boy Trigger, though. Oh, my. You know what? Yeah. Slab writer? No. Nah. I seen um, a rest in peace to a trigger. That's why I'm asking. But it was a guy that was a slab. He was in a slab riding group, not trigger, no, but he just said his yeah. partner no. trigger. And I thought, oh my God, that's no, that's sad. That's, no, that's two different people. Condolences. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that's the thing about the music business that I don't yeah. like. It's just like period. Yep. Yeah, it's just like period. Yeah. Um. You, um, this is your manager, Moyo. Yeah, that's my manager. How did y'all link up? This is my brother. Like, you were like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been linked up since I came yeah, out the womb. Yeah, I was the first person. He <laughs> said, we linked up since I came out the yeah. womb. So, yeah. oh, okay. So, all oh, right, my bad. I didn't know. I didn't know. It's, uh, this one of my brothers, though. Yeah. I, I got two other brothers. Okay. That I grew up with. I got more brothers and sisters, but I have two other brothers that I grew up with. Oh. Slim P, he's doing some time right now. And then, yeah, free sleep baby. And my baby brother, kid, you know, so. Yeah. Is he into entertainment as yeah, well? Yeah, he would have been here too. But I ain't had time. See, I was running late. Okay. So, you didn't do too bad though, man. man Just I feel like I did. I a couple like of did. minutes. Okay. See, he, my dad is so, it's a thing. Like, yeah. that, that's one of the things that my dad told us. He was like, if you're on time, you're late. late. If you're early, you're you on time. time. So, uh -huh. try to be. That's some great advice. Cause see, I obviously didn't get that type of advice. <laughs> I have been late all my life to stuff, even my own events. Yeah, but I've gotten better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty twenty. Yes, I have. I beat you here. Twenty twenty something happened, and I've started to. Come oh, we rode time. the same goddamn car. So you, <laughs> sometimes I beat you here, though, bro. Like see, once. The jealousy is it's real sometimes, shit. but it's cool. Um, <laughs> so, Lionheart. Yeah, Lionheart. What is what inspired this uh, I'm project? I'm infatuated with the lion. Like, I feel like that's my spirit animal. You know, like, after this life, I, I feel like either I was a lion before or I'm going to be a lion after this life. It's just something about that. It's just something about the lion for me. You know, yeah. So. And, the, and I mean, I'm, I feel like my, just growing up, I just, just being me. You know, I had to. I have to be lion hearted because I'm still here. You know. Yes. Yeah, the lion. That's a fierce. Yeah, it's a fierce creature. Animal. Like yeah, it, it, it's fierce, but it's also a loving animal. You know, it's a protective animal. You know, 
Yeah. It's it's it So I got I'm gonna have to check it out because I know just from the title of it it makes me feel like it's that you're gonna be talking about some real, some real yeah, shit. It's real goody. It's not it ain't what you do. It ain't it ain't what's you know what I'm saying, what's hot now. Yeah. You know, but it's it got that it got it got a message to it. It got something you can feel. It got something you can hold on to. And people need to stop sleeping on what's hot, what's not now, it hot ain't now. Even that. It ain't even, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it ain't even that. I well, I, I can't say it's not that because, from one perspective, mm -hmm. I'm saying that's what it is. But then, if you look at it in, in a totally different perspective, it's so many. It, it's like a uh, a circle, right? Mm -hmm. And you could just put music in there, mm -hmm. and then you have the what what they call the. It's just different, you know what I'm saying, different streams of types of music. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So, you just got to find what's yours. Mm -hmm. Find what's right. on yours and tap into that. One thing I That's can't say, that'll be... One That's thing to touch up, but one thing I can say that makes it a little bit easier mm -hmm. is, it's a lot easier to find your co-follower when, when everybody's following, you know what I'm saying? Following you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because if everybody's on the, what, like, what's hot now, it's going to be easy for you to find out who, who you cater to, you know what I'm saying, music-wise. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now, now that we know that, okay, A, a and B and C work for us, we just going to stick to that. You know mm -hmm. Even if that don't cater to the bigger crowd, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? As long as we get a, a code following, you know what I'm saying? As long as we make something out for that, that's all that's going to matter. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because at the end of the day, it's not about how much money you make from it. You know what I'm saying? It's about what you do with the message that you put in that you put in. You know what I'm saying? That's the most important thing. Real talk. Real talk. Damn. I, I, you know, I stay that all the time because I like, don't get me wrong, like my whole vibe is like shake your ass vibe, but I love those songs and those artists that challenge me to think outside the box and look at something different or just like, damn, he... He went through that. I don't know yeah, if I can um, handle that, but that's some real shit. Even, yeah. So that's what yeah. I'm gonna get when I listen to your yeah, so this, like uh, once you hear mixing. Brothers Keeper, like especially with Brothers Keeper being the introduction for you, mm -hmm. that's gonna set the tone. Cause then after that, you gonna be like, damn. Okay, so he he ain't, he ain't no, you know what I'm saying? He ain't lollipop rapper. You understand what right. I'm saying? So you gonna go check out something else for sure. That's that's what's up, and I'm gonna promote it. What side so of town y'all right. from? We from Third Ward. Third Ward, hey. Yeah. We from the I think you mentioned something about Third Ward today. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he's he's actually he's you hit me up. I'm a the unrestricted podcast. So, yeah, 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 you hear me? Yeah. I'm sorry I ain't got back to you yet. Cause I was actually I was watching your interview because you sent me the link on YouTube and I was, I was like, there I was like, okay, because I went to school out there at U of H and stuff. So yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, cool. Third Ward. Shout out Third Ward. Okay. All right, that's dope. So, um, how long have you been doing music? Five years. Just a solid amount of time. Officially five years. Like I've been doing music all my life. I haven't been doing like shows and stuff like that all my life, mm -hmm. but I've been doing something in music, like literally all my life. Like I, I like, I, I write. Just like that's what I do. Some people who, some people play football. Some like girls are infatuated with being cheerleaders. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I, I love to write. You know, so, and then writing just opened up like different avenues for me. It first led to poetry. Then it led to stories. Mm -hmm. Then it led to, you know what I'm saying, this and that. And then once I figured out I, I could make something my own with music, I was like, oh, yeah, this it. So who were some of your influences? Because I know some people don't, <laughs> if you ask them, like, how can you sing so good? Mama can't sing, daddy yeah, can't sing. Or you, like, did your, did your dad rap? Did somebody, like, who put you on music? First person I saw rap was my uncle, Slow. Shout out my uncle, Slow. Oh, it was an uncle. I, yeah, okay. I seen him. At, but, all right. So, at, so, when I was growing up, Bone Thugs and Harmony, like, they was, you know what I'm saying, they was it. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, they were. And my uncle, Slow, he, he looked like he could have been, you know what I'm saying, a, a member. I'm talking about he tall, slim. At the time, he had, you know what I'm saying, braids and everything. 
I'm oh, saying. okay. So, and then he was rapping me with the songs, you know, so everybody jamming, so he rapping the songs, and I'm like, I'm not knowing that's not, you know what I'm saying, yeah. on the radio. I'm like, man, this is, okay, <laughs> All right, that's cool. Then he be freestyling. No, oh, I can't damn, freestyle. did you jump on, I was nah. about to ask you, did you jump on the freestyles nah. with your uncle? I can't okay. freestyle, but that, that's what led me to write. I'm okay. like, well, I know I can't freestyle, and he nice. So if I if I Damn. if I if I say something, it's gonna have to be live. So I write, but I never spit. I never, you know, what I'm saying, tell them the person that I just write in and be like, I wow. that's nice. But I I gotta do some, yeah. you know, what I'm saying live, you know. So that's how I start writing. Mm -hmm. But I, I I started writing poetry. Like the first song, the first song I ever wrote was a song called Haters, and that was for me and my brothers. Mm -hmm. We was in like middle school or something, and then we we performed it. You know what I'm saying in front in the living room for my mom and then for like a, a couple <laughs> of our neighbors. And it was like, ah, oh, it was loud. Mm -hmm. You know, but that, it ain't like that just catapulted in my life or nothing. You know what right. I'm saying? That was just you know something to look back on and be like, man, that that prepared me for you know what I'm saying getting to this point, or even just. Let me know that opportunity was there. You understand what I'm saying? So, like I say, it's our perception. It's how long how you see it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, like <laughs> I ain't have look, y'all. I, I, I was lost. Like when it came to like doing music, and I don't know, none of my family at the time had talent. So I was like, where the hell am I getting? And then I found out my biological. That's where, like, That's where it it's great. Like, they even know, like, um, when I had a cousin mm -hmm. who was Jay-Z's PR and, it, like, helped him get yeah. to the yeah. next yeah. level. Yeah. Like, yeah. no yeah. shit. And when I found this out, I blew my head. I was yeah. like, wait a minute, what? So, I got, I got Ain't this. Ain't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but. see, I did. I had my cousin sing. Mm. Like, not, 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 not like that. Dude really sang. He was in in some group from in like the nineties or something. Damn. Yeah. I, I can't remember the name. I don't, I don't know the name yeah. of the group. But I you know what I'm saying, I know. But I can't sing. <laughs> but you know what but the I'm talent saying? in yeah, like yeah, entertainment and music is somewhere just, just in, in your my family. family. Yeah. Yeah. My my aunt was Monica Lamb. She played mm -hmm. in the WNBA. Like this one, the WNBA first. You know what I'm saying? Jumped out yeah. when they was winning them, when the uh, comments was winning Oh, yeah, they was, yeah, they was that team. Yeah, she played Swoops and Cynthia Cooper. That's one of, yeah. some of my favorite players. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Right. Damn. Uh, so, I mean, we just, it's just in us, you know. That's what's You're going to do something. You're going to do something. Yeah. You know, absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Look, it's not going to pass you yeah. and then go to this person. Like, it's your turn. Yeah, so, yeah, so uh, you had sent me a couple of things. Um, yeah. You said that you had the pleasure of taking uh, Scrooge and Media TV on a tour of the house you grew up yeah, in. Like, yeah. So what so, was that like a documentary type of thing nah, or what? No, nah, we just went to do an interview, you know what I'm saying, at, at the house. And, you know... It, it led to say, man, say this literally the house I grew up in, you know, ain't nobody here. I'm gonna show y'all. Oh, that's you know, cool. Nobody was living there. No, nah, no. Nah. So you know what I'm saying? I showed them like the room we grew up in, the the kitchen we ate in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, <laughs> that is crazy. Like, it. how was that experience? Because it's like you showing somebody your life, but when yeah. did you go in there? Yeah. Like, damn, I remember when I damn, was like little. Yeah, and did, did you feel sad? Like overwhelmed? Yeah. yeah. Well, not so much overwhelmed. I felt. I felt a bit. I felt a bit sad. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, man, you, you know, you, like so many memories. Yeah. Come, come rushing at you. You know, it's like, right. damn, I'm, I miss all that because. Like life was peaceful then, you know what I'm saying? Like life is, Damn. so it was, you know, it was, it was different then. Even though it was rough growing up in Third Ward, like you, you, okay, it's one thing to have to worry about, like the police when you're young. Mm -hmm. It's a totally different when you're an adult. You know what I'm saying? It, it don't, it, it don't carry the same weight. 
It's the mm -hmm. same situation. That it don't carry the same weight. It don't carry depending on depending on the situation. It may carry the same outcome. You understand what I'm saying? But just that stress, just that pressure, is totally different. You know what I'm saying? From being an adult and being a you know being a child. You know so. It was also really well for me. It was also really like a, a really great moment of reflection because like yeah, it was so was like really really at the, at that point in time of our lives, like everything was just so easy and so peaceful. You know what I'm saying? And as we get older, we always find ourselves trying to be like, how can we get back to to that just place? being? You know what I'm saying? Okay with how things are going or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So like just going back to the house, you know, we like. Of course, my my second oldest brother not being there, you know what I'm saying? That True. was that was something that stressful yeah. about it. Okay. But you know what I'm saying? Just looking back at it, it was like like we we still are blessed to be in a situation where we can even come back to this house. You know what I'm right. saying? Because a lot of people they look back at where they live at and, and there's nothing gone. there, or they look back at where they live at and it's under a bridge. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like we were still blessed just like we are now. Right. You know what I'm saying? So just understanding. The, 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 the place where you're at in life is is part of that profession. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah it, was, it was great. It was great. That's what I say. It's all it's all about perception. You know what I'm saying? It's all it's all about perception. Everything is about perception. You know, it's you know, everybody ain't gonna see it the same. That's true. You know what I'm saying? And that's like once you can accept that, once you can understand that, mm -hmm. then you open yourself to seeing it a, a different way. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's that's that opened up that opened you up to receiving knowledge. Right. That opened you up to receiving blessings. Right. To opportunity. Right. You understand what right. I'm saying? So Yeah. Damn. That sounds that sounds <laughs> yeah. I'm you know, I wouldn't even there and, and it seemed like that could be very something that's overwhelming, but like I know of a few smiles yeah, got yeah, to have yeah. came from me. Yeah, yeah you know, like, sure. nah, I, it probably when y'all was acting up and stuff, yeah, people nah, used to fight like, over here. Yeah, right, right. right. <laughs> over there, over there. Yes. Hey, that don't sound like a bad idea, though. Yeah. Mm hmm That's cool. So, um, you been out here from Houston. We have a pool of talent. Uh, yeah, sure. What artists would you like to work with out here that you have not? Man, I'm gonna go over there. <laughs> mm, 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 Tell mm. me what artist and why that artist. See, I mm -hmm. work with any artist from Houston. Oh, okay. That's yeah. that's what's up. I'm just on the street. We're from the same city. You know what I'm mm. I mean, <laughs> pretty much, I, I say Texas. You know what I'm saying? That's real. Yeah. I, I don't really get that too often. I yeah. always get one main person. But that I like that answer because like, yeah. you open. Yeah, it's a lot of talent here, though. Yeah, I, 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 it's like too I much talent, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Way too much talent. You just said that. Yeah. You know, that yeah. And then it's, I'm looking at it like if, if you want to work with me, that's, that's a place for that's both a, of us. Yeah, that's a, that's a, a city. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, that's a plus. You know what I mean? Because, I, I mean, I know I'm nice, but it's like, who am I? If you want to work with me, all right, come on, let's do it. All right, all right for sure. <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm say now. Nah, yeah, that you know what? Yeah, I'm the same. I like seeing people get out there, and especially if you got a hustler mentality. Yeah, right. Right. For sure. Cause yeah. you, all you gonna do is bring your people to me, yeah. and I'll bring my people to you. Yeah. Like it should be. We gonna network. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We get some money. Yes, <laughs> all day. Hey, when, you, when it's two or more, you gonna get some money. Oh, yeah. For sure. That's how I tell them. That's how you. That's how you get some money. I mean, you, you can only get so much money by yourself. You know what I'm saying? But I guarantee you, you get with some more hustlers, mm -hmm. oh, y'all finna see some money. Why you think Diddy and them had them parties? Mm. Yeah. It's a brainstorm. <laughs> For real. They ain't sitting back there drinking. Ain't that crazy, yeah. you know? Yeah. They, yeah. Try, yeah. They, they try to get some money. You ain't lying. Yeah. We got to get like that, though. In, in, the, men in the mentality. Because, yeah. like you said, it's definitely money to be made. Yeah. Like, even if your party started at your house with, like, three of your friends, like, shit, get Man, me done. That's you enough. know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's at true. At some point, you're going to be drinking champagne, hmm. coming up on coming the up, plane, up. you know what I'm saying? You might be on a yacht, you might not. It might you know what I'm saying? You're going to get that champagne. You got to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, though. You got to keep going. That's true. 
I want to I want to play this song, uh, Brothers Keeper. Brothers Keeper, let's go, let's go. This is about his brothers, like real yeah, life brothers, y'all. So we gonna yeah. get to this tune. It's on Spotify. You can stream it as well, along with Lions yes, Heart mixtape. Yeah, that's right. Out on our digital platform. Y'all gonna get that right now. Hey.
Man. So you say you would uh, work with any artist out here. Listen, yeah. What about a label situation? Like, cause you know we got yeah. what we got three hundred entertainment. We got rap a lot yeah. still. Don't would, have a lot of labels. I wouldn't sign to a label. I would. Okay, uh, that's what I was gonna ask. I wouldn't. I wouldn't sign to a label, but I would get a distribution deal. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Or uh, promotion deal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Something. You know, so, uh, or even the marketing deal. Today, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. I mean, we could, we could, you know what I'm saying, we could work something out, you know what I'm saying, along them lines, but as far as me signing to the label, what? I mean, you, you're going to do better, you know what I'm saying, without me on the label, I'm going to do better without signing to the label, mm -hmm. you know, but we could get some money together, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah, I think I'm. I think a lot of people that I've interviewed, including myself, would would like a distribution promotion yeah, yeah. if the machine is still going to be behind it. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that goes. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah like gotta, the, gotta, depending you know, on how like you work they, it out. They promoting their artists. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. they, or if they're not doing it themselves, they have a. You know what I'm saying? To deal with the company. That's gonna pro that do promotion for them. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Either I can sign straight to the promotion company, or they can put me on their roster. <clears throat> mm -hmm. What do y'all think about radio? <laughs> Be careful. What do you think about radio and uh, I'm sorry, indie radio versus mainstream radio? Have y'all noticed how like indie radio? And I said this years up. ago. No, it's, it's mm -hmm. coming up. Are, are you not excited yes, about that? I love it. I love it. <laughs> Me too, man. It's, 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 it's out, it's out I love to it. the point to where, like, indie, everything is just boom, it's Finally, boom, we get our fucking shot, yeah, yeah, okay? You know what I'm saying? So I'm just, I'm just, and then, like, just, just, uh, just a side note, like, I love how when the pandemic hit, you mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. All the black food businesses started booming. Booming. Right. Did you I see that? It. I was just like, oh my God, come on with it, come on with it. They're like, man, we, we don't need no bill lights. We got the money coming in, we good. Yeah. You know, we'll take it, but we good. We ain't gonna yeah. worry about it. Man, I love it. I love it. The energy is just amazing, man. Yes, I, I agree. I, and I, I had to ask that because it's like, I've seen your uh, Instagram and you're doing like several different like it looks like you're almost like radio campaign like you've done a lot of radio stations and I like to see shit like that because it's so many like it was hard getting radio play at mainstream they won't even look at you and it shouldn't be that serious right and it's like man y'all gonna play the same people y'all gonna the same damn people you know what I'm saying come up here so they the only ones that make music come on man and that's what I did like. I can't knock it either because right. it's like, man, I'm, they they getting so much money doing it that way. Yeah. You know what oh, I'm damn. But it's, well, I ain't really think about it like that. You know, it, they, had, they hadn't point, figured out the way to get it. The indie market become too much competition for them to just close everybody out. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what's going, they don't have to start reaching for people. And by that point, people are going to be smart enough to be like, I don't even need it. Need, oh, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I think radio so. might die. I doubt it. They're going to find a way to survive. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because they're right. going to make money off of us. Regardless. regardless. You know, they're going to mm -hmm. find a way to reach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they leave like if we could just. They're going to find a way. Yeah. yeah. If we could just keep the indie shit going, like, oh, and just, yeah. like really make it our own and just add like, to like, it. not let up on it, it'd be good. It'd That's be what good. I want to see happen mm -hmm. because it's like, I think for a mainstream radio, especially when it's only like a couple. I didn't. I never understood what was the 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 big deal about just you know one day having an independent artist oh, come. Why are y'all so right. shitty to where y'all just oh, don't want to see right. nobody shine right. like that? Just certain. It'd be the same damn see. indie artists that they yeah. do choose. Nobody yeah. knew. Why do y'all do that? Like yeah. when, when there's plenty of people that people out here in the city that's buzzing. You know what I'm saying? Yes. They don't want to even give them a shot. I'm like. It don't, it don't make sense. It, it mean, really don't. And then people, people always talk about like how music, like mu like the music scene is dead in Houston. Like it's really not. No, it's not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you, you give us a little bit of light, bro. We, we, we good. You, you go see everything dead, come out. Yeah. But, like everywhere you go, but I mean, don't nobody want to hear nothing about Houston. Houston rap ain't going. I'm like, no. really? For real? Man, like it might be because I'm living in the city and I'm hearing and I'm actually seeing what's going on. Damn. But yeah. I don't know how they feel like that because I think the market has grown yeah. in terms of just like yeah. music, I, I, even acting. I would think so. You know what I'm saying? But that's not everybody. 
Okay, I see. Yeah, we from Houston, so I mean, sometimes I might be biased. I don't. Man, it's people. It's people out there that like Houston music, though. Yeah. I mean, it's different talent, it's, though. It's people out there that like it. It's people out there that don't like it. That's I like, mean, that's just what it is. Give or take. Yeah. I, well, one my, one of my things that I don't like is that it just seems like we are handpicked. And I said this uh, last week, it's just like, I don't know who gets to say this person been shining th the hardest when I see so many people working their ass off. And it's just like, they'll overlook so many good people and just be like, it's this one. It's this one. And then it'd be like three years, four, and nobody getting record deals. And then finally someone else would get chosen from Houston. Why well, yeah, we can't just be like LA, place. New York, where it's like 10 of us that's got a major deal. Yeah. That's true. That's facts. That's facts. And then, like you say, a lot of people don't know uh, the producer DJ XO. Mm -hmm. He signed. Perfect. He signed with a uh, rapper like. Mm -hmm. you know what oh. I'm See, that's what yeah. I'm saying. That's big. Like yeah. and people, people don't know that though. Yeah. Like that's right. Because right, I know big. exactly who he is. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, like that's. But when I seen that, I was like, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he fired. Yeah. So he, yeah, he had been grinding for a minute yeah. though. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so okay, shout out to Rap a Lot, some of that folks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they show love though. Yeah, cause I I be sending people like I be like, y'all have y'all talked to Carl from Three Hundred yeah. Entertainment? Cause he's yeah. like trying to really do, do yeah. big stuff. Like he do has something. a all star team. Yeah. Uh, Erica. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a few. It was. It's a. I can't even remember some yeah, of the names. But it's a lot of people. Let's not forget. I don't know. Not well, I don't know their situations, mm -hmm. but I, like Stunner Brown. I like Stunner Brown. He would be a cool um, artist Stunder to sign Brown. on. Um, yeah, to sign with them, I could see him on there. Yeah. yeah, he's he's another one that's been doing it for such but a long many, time. Yeah. It's crazy. So yeah, I mean, I think I think it's opportunity out here. Like you said, Moyo, if if any artist just continue. The fight. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just only it's like a wave that I, I waited so long to see. Yeah. And I'm yeah. excited to be here. Yeah. yeah. To see y'all here. Part of it, man. It's, it's a real blessing. Yeah. That's why I'm glad there's so many uh podcasts and radio stations mm -hmm. now that's mm -hmm. indie. Cause I man, when I tell you, I'm trying to touch every last. I know that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it, it also <laughs> make it a whole lot easier to reach out to. Reach like, out to when you too, when yeah. you making those connections by yourself and they trying to make those yeah, connections to too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just like, oh no, man, we finna no, grab no, hands and we yeah. ain't letting go. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We finna ride to the top like together. You know what I'm saying? That's that's dope. Right? Like, hey, <laughs> for real. That's and you know what? That's how it should be like because we indie like. I think I still say like the dopest artists are indie artists. I feel like when you go mainstream, you start. Yeah, you start some yeah. stuff is cool, but yeah, then right. see you got the labels mm -hmm. in your ear, mm -hmm. and you can't mm -hmm. be yourself like you went hard in the underground. Right. Right. No, right, right. right. That's why. That's get why. Out <laughs> what you got to say, good get out Cause these, how you came up, mm -hmm. that's how you gonna fall. You dig know what I'm saying? Okay. So them, that same road. Them same people, you know what I'm saying, that took me up, cause I, I ain't take, I, I put in the work, you mm -hmm. understand? But y'all helped me, mm -hmm. like I, I ain't, I understand, I ain't just do it by myself. You know right. I, I, I just, I'm just the artist, you know what I'm saying? Y'all like y'all the people, y'all the station, you know? Y'all, you didn't have to give me this opportunity. You could have told me no, like the major radio station. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And that, that wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have been here. Yeah. But since y'all did that. Oh yeah, every time I do a a release party or, or something like that, that's how it's supposed to go. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Say, y'all, come on, check this out. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Say, I go go right somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Say, look, come on, have some. You know what I'm saying? Let's do something. Right. Like, what's up? Mm -hmm. Come on. You know what I'm saying? I, oh, look, I know, I know, such and such got got. You know what I'm saying? Got this going on. Mm -hmm. This this could help you. I I might not come. You know right. What I'm but this could help you. You feel what I'm saying? You know, so that's how that's how it goes. People gotta understand that. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. you you could go 
you could go, you could, you can always go do something different with somebody else. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Right. But that, but like, how this, how this gonna benefit you? What, like, what, what's that? What is, the, what is that really gonna cost you? Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? You, you gotta think about that. Mm. Good shit. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hell no, nah, you know, we just vibing. I like a I like a show where like we always, you know, talking about you, of course, don't get it twisted. And yeah, then just like just how y'all feeling about shit because we on the right wave. Oh yeah. We yeah, really yeah. on the right I don't care what nobody yeah. gotta say about Houston. We on the right yeah, wave. We on the wave. Yeah. yeah. Like, like for real. It's man, and then we birthed so many Houston has birthed so many birth, artists yeah, birth. tonight. You can't not turn that cheek if you want to. It's like I think you hating. Yeah, we have well, the I mean, Godfathers of music here, yeah, and like yeah. Chameleon there is one of my favorite rappers. Yeah. Like that was inspiration because he went to my yeah. school. Yeah. Can you imagine yeah. seeing Chameleon there and not knowing that he was gonna be the star? Yeah. But I always. When he walked by, I could smell it. Yeah. Like the man smelled like success. Yeah. I was yeah. a freshman, and he walked by me one day, and I said something, and he looked at me like, he told me, he said, go to class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell, I don't know what I said. He said, go to class. And I just, yeah. go to class. Yeah. Yeah. He okay. said, go to class. Oh, you yeah. know, but That's it. he always had that, like, mm -hmm. I'm, not I'm not here to be friends. I'm here to so, get business. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you just knew. He's he like, what is he something. working on? He's going to be yeah, a some gonna, celebrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just seeing shit like that, seeing mm -hmm. these guys, and we coming up, and then the other people coming up. Yo, That's an honor. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I was one of the few people listening to Chameleon and Power at Yates. Oh, okay. Yates. Yeah, that Humble Pimpson, man, I had that on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> For real, yeah. Yeah, Back so then, weird. we had the CD. Mm. Yeah, I met a man, man say. They used to get on me too, cause they like, man, you listening to sing? Whoa, <laughs> oh damn, like we can tell the star snippet. Like, it, like, it, like it wasn't just like he'd play like one or two songs. He played a whole the CD, whole CD, oh. the whole CD. So I'm like, Saturday morning we get up, we cleaning up, and that's all we get. That's all. Oh, you was a fan, fan, <laughs> like, like, like yeah, for real. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Big Swing was my shit. My, bro yeah. my brother gave me the CD one day. I got that on my, my brother, right I was now. like a junior or something. Yeah. He said, I'm he say, I'm gonna give you something you ain't gonna never want to stop yeah. playing. I say, yeah. what up? He always used to give me good music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I put that in, I, I lost my I, I swear yeah. the next day I had every yeah. bar memorized. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. just how sick that song was. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that was that was one of them. that was one of them. Yeah. Oh jeez. Some shit just never gonna get over. Check this out though. I got that from Slow. Mm -hmm. the, the, the uncle. The uncle, yeah. So Damn. it's, exactly. So, like, looking back, now, you be like, oh, man, that's, you know what I'm saying, that's two player. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. two, and they ain't even know. I'm just jamming. Well, so you let know me know ask you this. Do your uncle listen to your music now? He know yeah. you rap now. Yeah, he know. Was he like, boy, why you didn't tell me uh, that this is what hey, you was he, doing? He, what the hell? I don't know. He, he, he <laughs> I, I, I don't want to say he kind of knew. Oh, okay. Because uh, I was, like, we was, that's my uncle. Like, we was always under, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was, like, he was, you know what I'm saying? He was there, there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. So he probably, he probably saw something and didn't know what it was. I, I, I don't know, but I can't, like, say why he right. did But, like, when he hit me, he be like, say, <laughs> say that real, okay. Yeah. He, that's what's once up. he started smiling, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. that was tight. That's why he he like he fucking with that. Now what about your dad, your pops? He listen to it. He likes to hear. Oh man, yo, he look, he he. Outside of me, I say he my biggest critic. Yeah. Cause he, like he came up, like my uncle came up. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? The bone thugs. And, well, him and my dad came up on the on the same music. You know, you know, for like he he more the the big daddy came. Yeah. Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Like that's oh, what I get Oh damn! He got yeah. he had uh like the real like, gangsta yeah, OG yeah, rap, yeah, rappers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Slip Rick, mm -hmm. you, you know, uh, Scarface. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Marcy, Scarface P -P was my dude, Like, but that's where I got it from. You know? Yeah. So that's like this. This is all him. Then you got my mom. She, you know, oh, he he Anita Baker, mm. Tony Braxton, Whitney Houston. You know what I'm saying? This. You know, and this this how we coming up. You know what I'm saying? Then my grandmother, they playing the OJs and the... Dope ass. The, uh, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the 
Johnny Walker. Like, I'm talking about, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Oh, so we're getting all that, you know? And now we're here. Man, I'm, I'm, I wish I... Could have got some of that. My dad wasn't yeah. feeling that shit. Maybe because I was a girl. That dude was so. What the hell did you just say? He what? I was just like, I'm saying, he's like, you sleeping with this dude? It's a song, bro. You tripping? He act like that shit was really going on. He was like, I don't even feeling that shit. I was like, man, this is trash. This is whack. Yeah, my, he was so not fun. Huh? I was rapping like I started doing music with B King. That's oh, how okay. I even got, right, like, right. Well, high school, okay. his ass came from, I forgot where he came from school, what school he came from. I just know he was looking for, like, some rappers, and mm, yeah. I used to rap, and another girl, and we started rapping with him, and he was always, like, the guy he is now, mm -hmm. that's how he was in yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. We was always on some freak nasty shit, right, right. and my dad wasn't feeling it. He was <laughs> yeah, like, man, that's uh -huh. disgusting, <laughs> you are a female. Yeah, I was just like... like it's, it's, it's real. That's what I tried to My mama understood. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, and then how you, yeah, because Lil' Kim was like who, if yeah. you a female rapper back then, it was like yes. Lil' Kim was right. the girls yeah. to look up to, and right. everybody knew Lil' Kim. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, you tripping, sir. But <laughs> he made my life hell. <laughs> Yeah, but so I, I always say the, when the people yeah, come in yeah. here and say their parents support, y'all lucky, y'all blessed. That's yeah, a blessing that like, parents support. I'm going yeah, to be real. For the longest, I ain't even, I wasn't even, like, I spoken of, like, I, even now, I'm not so, I spoken about my music, but. Oh, okay. Because, and, and, but that's just, you know what I'm saying, who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm not really outspoken until, you know what I'm saying? It's a time and a place for everything. I, I right. talk when I need to talk. Outside of that, I, you know what I'm saying, I ain't really finna say that. But, like, they, I don't even, they ain't even know, they ain't even know, well, they know I could rap because I did the show, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, like when we was little. But they ain't, you know, they really didn't know, you know, and, and, and once, like once, because I did, a, I did another project way, like before Lionheart, this one, I was making CDs. Mm -hmm. I did uh, Death Before Dishonor. I was doing like volume one, two, three. And I, I, done, I let them hear volume one. And I, the reaction that, that they gave me, I, it was supportive. So I was like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, for sure, okay then. I'm, you know, I'm just, yeah, I, well, if y'all was gonna let me rap. Yeah, <laughs> that's real. Rap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 but their response was, we can't tell you what to do. Right. I'm like, Oh, shit. Oh, I could have been this. Yeah. <laughs> I could have been this. You know what? <laughs> Parents, goddamn. Right, right. And, uh, are we, like are you different with your kids? Yeah. Uh, I'm the same way. Well, yeah. you're the same. Well, you know what? You you said y'all dad was cool and your, your mom. Cause when, when, it, when it was time though. to be cool. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because right. every prayer, every pray, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, our parents were parents. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, right. That's, it's, it's simple as that. Simple you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. We changed I mean, nah, for the world. Right. You right. know what I'm yeah. saying? But they were parents. Nah, you right. I I let mine do their little music stuff. Yeah. They write music. I, I help them write songs though. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. My, 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 they, my kids dance. They Not oh. all of them can dance because I, I can't really dance. But their mama <laughs> can dance. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, they all got their little, you know what I'm saying? Little moves and the, the rhythm. So when this music playing around the house, you know, it's a. Survival. Yeah. yeah. That is Rest so cute. They're they Nigerian too. So yeah. They oh, they, yeah, they born with that rhythm. <laughs> I, say, they say rhythm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigerian people say it's not rhythm, it's blue, it's rhythm. Yeah, it's rhythm. rhythm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're going to dance for sure. Yeah. That's what's up. So. Whew, this was a very cool interview. I'm yes. definitely gonna air it on Roku next Thursday. But I want yeah, I, I want people to um, know how they can find you on your social media and um, also Moyo. You can also give your social media too. Yeah, for sure. So I mean, everything. Hey, good fella, QP. That's from uh, Twitter to Instagram to YouTube to Smart Spotify. Man. Yeah, right. Smart. Man. Everything the same way. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? If I could do my email like that, I, I, I would have done it. <laughs> For real. Damn, yeah, somebody already took it. Nah, Don't you just uh, hate that? Yeah, but no, yeah, that's, that's smart. Good fella QP. You know, you, you want to find me, it, it's a one way street. You know? Yeah. Moyo. Contact me, Naughty Man Moyo, on Instagram, Naughty K N O T T I underscore man underscore Moyo. Just like that.
Yeah. Hey. And I'm doing features. I'm some. I'm, I'm doing features up for Muslims. So you can't. If, 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 if you want to work with the artist, mm -hmm. you're looking for an artist to work with. Might hit me up. I'm doing features. Hey, y'all already heard the man say he's doing features. Okay, so just come with your A game. Yeah. Man, um, we are. Once they open up here in the inside, like, because it's usually more people and there's also other stations here, uh, we are going to put together a mixer, but we might do it uh, early next year sometime because this has been so weird. But a lot of artists are interested in yeah. being a part of it, so I definitely want to invite you guys. Once we have the information, I'll send it to uh, email and just, uh, yeah, we'll do something to make it worth it. Well, uh, thank you for coming to the show, man. This was thank cool. And we'll take a picture, too. All right, thank you guys for tuning in to the Miss Blue Radio Show. It's been real. Radio's badass. Oh, man. Cool. We long, so they thinking I'm Brazilian.